Okay, so this is the third demo and I think this one is going to be a little bit interesting because this is not going to be only about Google Drive and Google Docs and Forms stuff. I'm going to actually add some additional content to the site so that it can be a, a core of a portal if you want to expand on it later on and build on it. So I'm not going to create any additional Google Drive resources. I've already created a few forms and I have already created a few shared drives. I'm going to reuse those again. And I will start by going to sites.google.com and then again create a new blank site. And this time I'm going to change the theme a little bit before I do anything else. So let me actually do it as the, the last one, the impression. So this is a change at least from the simple theme and from the simple look. At least it gives you some different aspect and some different viewpoint for this. So again, I'm going to resize this and then I will do the internal portal, the title. And again, I will use this same for the site name so that it can be saved automatically. So the scoop for this, of course, is going to be internal. And what I'm going to have here is I'm going to add some icons for some applications and also the document library that I have created in the previous demo. I will actually link it through this one. So I will add a link to that so that people can use it to access that document library. And then finally, I will add some additional onboarding information so that new joinees can look at them and find their way around. So as a start, this is the landing page. And as a first point or as a first item that I want to add here is going to be the cloud search. The cloud search is a very great tool and it's something very awesome to be used. It's going to save you the effort and the going around between your email and Google Drive and the files if you wanted to find an old information that you don't really know where it is saved but you know something about it so you can just type it in Google Cloud Search and then let it find that information for you. So that's going to be in the objects or the widgets in here that is Cloud Search. You click it it will be added for you here and you're just expanding this a little bit and also changing the theme so it can be more pointed out for users to use it. All you have to do here and all the users have to do here is just type anything and press enter and that's it. Now, as you've seen in the previous demo, I also did some change to this icon here, the search settings. So the search settings in the site have two options or actually three. You can completely hide it if you don't want to use it. But if you want people to still use the search and search inside this site, you can keep it to the default or you can also let them use the organization content or search in the organization content. Now, since I'm having this here, it might be redundant to use it at the top right corner to make it also cloud search, but this will stay across all pages. And if people navigate away from this home page, then they will still be able to use the cloud search by just clicking this icon and type the information that they want. So this is something useful and something handy that I'm going to keep it here. And then next for the home page, I'm going to make it very simple and I'm just going to add the icons or the, let's say the, the applications, the business applications so that it can be a dashboard for your applications and you can find the application that you want in here, then just click it and use it. So there are many ways, there are a lot of stuff and there are a lot of things that you can do to format this. The way I find it very nice and very easy is to just go a little bit up in the layouts and click the columns layout here. It will insert another section where you can add icons and you can add text under that and then you can link it in them. So let's say that I want to add the Gmail icon, the calendar, then the some project management application here I, i'm using asana in here it's a very nice application and some other business applications so i'm just clicking the plus button and then select an image and i can just immediately do an image search i will just type gmail it will give me hopefully the new icon for it so this is the new icon for gmail then let's add the link to this and let's do it at mail.google.com 
this is going to take me actually it's HTTP it should be HTTPS then also I'll link this one and I will also do it to mail.google.com this is the first application the second application is going to be the calendar and again I will go to Google image search and then type Google calendar and then this is the new icon for Google Calendar, so I'll take it. Okay, so I have set the four applications. Excuse me for this icon here, but it's too large to fit the box, the square space in here. But anyways, just to show the point. Then the third component that I want to add in the home page is an important contact info, such as the HR administrators or the uh, let's say the support of the IT and all of these critical contact information and there are two ways for me also to do that I can just add the text box or I can do it in the footer I will just do it in the footer because it makes more sense to have a separate section for that then I can add another section in the footer and actually this time let me do it as text only so I will remove the image from here then we'll add the content. So IT support, for example, the telephone is one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. <laughs> Email is support at domain. Then the HR. So probably to contact details, but again, just to show you the point in here. So we're done with the home page. Now we'll go to the second page, which is the document library. Now I've already built one in the previous demo, so I'm just going to add a link for it here so that people can go to that document library and then they can navigate that separately. The way to do that is the, the it, it's going to be adding a page, but that page is going to be a link. So I'll go to pages, then I'll move into the add button, but I will add actually a link instead of the page. I need to bring the URL for that site, which is found in the published settings. In the published settings, this is the URL that I'm going to take. So just copy this whole thing. And then I will go back to my previous tab and add this URL. And then I will name this as the documents. And that's it. So I'll click done. This is the URL has been added for me here. Then the third page is going to be some onboarding information for new joinees so that they can find the, let's say the operations manual, the IT processes, the HR processes, the workflows, and all of this information. So I will add another page. And this time is going to be a page and name it for new team members. In this, I'm going to actually create two sections. The first section is going to be about the important onboarding information. And let me try to find an image that makes it friendly a little bit. This is just a way for you to make things easier for your new joinees and to help them navigate around and find the people who they should contact and all of this. The second section I'm going to add a YouTube video so that it can serve as an introduction to the organization and how things are going there and all of this. This can be a private video that the, the, all, all the, the internal users have access to, of course. Let's name it as introduction, for example, or something like that. So this is the a basic page for the onboarding or for the new people. This can be anything really, like one video to let them know how things are going. And then the onboarding resources, document library, the contacts, the manuals that they need to worry about or read. And also you can create a some sort of a hierarchy, a quick hierarchy for the organization, who reports to who and all of that, and what is their exact location or position in that hierarchy. For this, you'll actually have to do some scripting and the scripts probably can be done with embed. I'm not sure how really flexible is this, but you can get some HTML code in here and add it and probably find any way to make it dynamic and so on. 
I'm not sure if there will be scripts and app scripts to be added in here very soon. Probably this is something very important and hopefully that will be added. If it gets added, it will add a lot of features and a lot of flexibility to Google Sites, to the new Google Sites. If not, then unfortunately we'll have to wait until they do it. So finally, I think this is some good demo and showcase for what you can do with this. Let me go to the preview to see how things are going there. So I'll go to the preview. This is, let me go to home. So this is the home page. Of course, with a little bit of some sense in designing, you can get the icons better than what I have here. <laughs> but you get the idea that these are the applications. So you click the icon, it takes you to the application. You click the other icon, it takes you to the other application and so on. And at the bottom here, there are the contact information, of course. And this is the cloud search where people use to search. This is not going to work in preview. You will need to go to the actual published site. But I will show you once we publish it. Then you go to pages for new joinees. This is the resources that you can play the YouTube video here. And they can click the links. If you set any links for them, they can view that. Of course, they can still see the contact information. And if you add a specific contact list for them, you can actually do it on the same page in a separate section or do it under the introduction here. Actually, it's very flexible and very open how you do things here. And then you go to documents library. Hopefully this will work. It takes you to the library, but I've got a 404 error because I actually did not type the URL properly. But again, you get the idea. Let me check it out to see if I can quickly fix it. Yeah, so this is what I have to remove. And hopefully now it should be fine. So when I go to preview again, when I click the documents library, now actually it, it has taken me to the document library and the people can navigate that and work with it. So this is the work to make the internal portal. Now again, what we've got left is, I will make sure this site is only available internally. And also I will set a custom URL and finally I will set it as the home page to the users and actually I've shown you this in the previous demo as well from where you do it but doesn't hurt to go through that again once more so first of all I have to publish the site and again this is going to be internal and the name it's actually something good for me here but it can be something like home page or something like that something to make sure people will remember it when they open their browsers. So I'll click publish. Now it's published with the internal scoop only. And then I'll have to go to the admin console again to add the custom URL. I need to copy the URL from here. Then go back to the admin console, go to apps. In the apps, I go to Google Workspace, you know, the usual stuff, <laughs> sites and then custom URL. So again, I click the plus button, new sites, the site name, I have to remove the page and I have to remove the HTTPS. Then click continue. Then the mapping is going to be home page. So anyone from now on types home page dot the domain will be shown that this internal portal and they can navigate it. So again, I, I have to follow these instructions to make sure that mapping is enabled once done it will be enabled and I'll get this green check mark. Otherwise, I will get these similar to these two errors, but it might take a while for this to update. So anyways, let me go now to the Chrome settings in devices and then Chrome, then settings. And again, I will just type the home page here or home <laughs> so that we can find the setting quickly. So home. And in the search results, I should see something, the startup and then home page. It's set to allow user to configure, but what I want to do here is I want to set it to always a URL, a specific URL, and I'll just paste the URL here. When I click save, it will be pushed as a setting and as a policy. It will be pushed to all of the users and they will start to see this page as their home page whenever they open their Chrome browser to browse the internet. So, this is it for the third demo. Hopefully this is something useful for you. Hopefully this is something that's going to give you some ideas and some insights. You can replicate what I've done here or you can build your own stuff. 
you can always expand you can always customize in google sites this is something very nice and this is a great service actually for you that you can use and work with